Hi folks, welcome back after a long time. Today, in this video, I'm going to talk about tech salaries in Europe. I'm going to compare them to tech salaries in the US and I will share some information, also some thoughts and some experience about why these salaries in Europe are so much lower than the salaries in US. For the sake of this video, when I say Europe, I will mostly focus on Western Europe, countries like Ireland, UK, Germany, Netherlands, maybe Switzerland, where I'm at least somewhat familiar with the tech scene, with the salaries, I know what companies are there, I know what people can make there. In order to understand the magnitude of the difference, you can check sites like levels.fyi, you can check PayScale, maybe Glassdoor, even though it's outdated, for European salaries, you can check techbase.com. I used all these sites to compare the salaries, to compare the information. And if you look at them, even in the best paying European tech hubs, like Zurich, like Dublin, London, or Amsterdam, or Berlin, the salaries are way, way lower than in US. So let's talk about why it's the case. I will start with some smaller reasons and then I will go to the main reasons that explain this phenomenon. So the first reason is that overall salaries in US are higher than in Europe. If you check various sources, you will see that there is a lot of inconsistency in the data. Some sources say that, for example, average salary in US is $50,000 while in Netherlands maybe 40 or 30. Another source might say that the average salary in US is 100, but then in the Netherlands will be 60. So even though the sources differ a lot in the absolute values, it is very consistent that US has higher salaries than vast majority of countries in Europe. Some exceptions are Norway, Switzerland, maybe Ireland, according to some sources. But if we look at the average difference across the whole population, then this difference in salaries may be 20, 30, at most 40%. But that doesn't explain why a senior developer in Germany or Netherlands might be making 70,000 euros, why a fresh graduate in the US going to not even a top tech company can make $100,000. So let's look further. Another common reason that is provided online whenever people ask about this difference is that European salaries also come with more benefits. For example, the healthcare, for example, there's free education, there is more paid time off, there's more bank holidays, uh, the work-life balance, like in Europe people maybe work on average 40 hours a week, in US maybe 45. I personally strongly disagree with that. Sure, in the US, healthcare is way more expensive, but companies pay for that. So this is a perk on top of the salary. Also, things like free education, maternal or paternal leave, these things are covered by the taxes. So yes, part of my salary in Europe goes towards the taxes that later cover the healthcare, that later cover pension and whatever. In US, they may cover much less. But that's the part that is taken from my gross salary. And in terms of gross salaries, tech employees in Europe still make way, way less than tech employees in US. So that reason for me is maybe a small part of it, but definitely not a big reason. Okay, now let's get to the real stuff, the real major reasons that people often ignore. In my opinion, there are two major conditions that make this difference so big, so visible. The first of these major reasons is that American companies can pay that much. The revenue per employee in tech companies in US is huge. Companies like Netflix, Apple, but also smaller tech companies have just really high revenues. And if your revenue per employee is $800,000 a year, then you can afford to pay a lot to your employees. And the biggest companies in US are tech companies. Facebook, Google, Apple, Amazon are among the largest companies in US. 
and they are among the companies that have the highest revenue and often the highest profit per employee. So they can pay a lot, a lot of money. If you look at the list of largest companies in terms of the revenue, in terms of the profits in Europe, you will see a lot of more traditional industries. For example, the largest companies in Germany are probably Volkswagen, Mercedes. The largest companies in UK will be probably Shell and BP. Oil industry, automotive industry, finance industry. In US, the biggest companies, there are of course some retail companies, there are finance companies, but there's a lot of tech companies there. They make a lot of money, they make a lot of money per employee, and they hire a lot of people. There are some small companies, both in US and Europe, where the revenue per employee is huge, but maybe they hire like 100 people. But Google hires 100,000 people and still they make so much money per employee. But that doesn't fully explain it, because if these companies can pay that much, then why do they pay way more in US than in Europe? And here's the second major reason. These companies have to pay that much. It's not like Google wants to give half a million dollars to every software developer there every year. No. In US, Google has a lot of competition because if Google starts paying too low, then people will just jump ship because there is a lot of competition. And it's not only the top companies, it's only the FANG type companies. The companies that are more, maybe like a second tier, third tier, even lower, even startups have to pay people maybe 150, 200,000 US. There is so much competition there that companies just have to pay. And if you want to have top talent, you have to be on top. In Europe, because we don't have that many tech companies, the competition is much lower. If Google comes here to Europe, if Google comes, let's say, to Amsterdam, they see, okay, the average salary might, let's say, 80, 90,000 euros. The top companies paying here maybe offer 200,000 euros. So Google can offer 250, 300,000 euros, and they can get the top talent from Amsterdam. Not only from Amsterdam, they can bring the top talent from other countries around because they will be the best paying company in the region. And that's what's happening. If you check Dublin, where Google has a big office, they are paying top money there for Europe. The difference between them and the other companies in Europe is large, but the difference between them in Europe and them in US is also large. Now, obviously the question appears why Google won't start hiring here even more, considering that they can have more developers for less money. That's another big topic. I'll talk about it another time. But one thing that I want to add here is immigration. In Europe, it is much easier to bring people from other countries than in US. In US, the visa process is quite complex. You have a couple of options like internal transfer, but if you want to get a working visa as a software developer, usually you have to go through the lottery process and there are only like maybe 80,000 visas a year. While in Europe, every country in European Union has a different rule. Uh, some countries might have more complex rules, but I know for a fact that it is quite easy to hire people from any country in the world. I've been a hiring manager in Netherlands for a couple of years and I had candidates from Southeast Asia, I had candidates from South America, I had candidates from Eastern Europe, and there was never a problem with visa. As long as we offered certain salary, there was no problem. Now, that means that the pool of candidates that can be found here is much larger. In US, it is more difficult Sure, the big tech companies in Europe have better ways to bring the candidates from overseas, but maybe not smaller companies. Here in Europe, even local companies that are paying average or even very mediocre salaries can hire people from overseas. There's one more thing that I want to mention. This is not a big reason, maybe. I, had, I don't have statistics. This is just my experience, my impression from my years as a hiring manager here in Europe. 
I feel that people are not that competitive to get the better jobs. I have a feeling that people are often very satisfied, very content with their life, and they are not looking for much higher salaries. I'm not sure whether they don't know and they think that $60,000 a year is the perfectly fine salary for a senior developer, or maybe they know it, but they just don't care because they are fine with that salaries. Gergely Oros from Pragmatic Engineer wrote this famous article about the trimodal nature of tech companies and how much different tiers of companies are paying. And this article was an eye-opener for lots of people. But I think that still, maybe not enough people know about it and we need to do more outreach. We need to make people more aware. Or maybe people are just content with where they are. As a hiring manager, for years, I've reviewed hundreds or thousands of resumes. Most of the resumes that I receive in Western Europe are either from Eastern Europe or India or maybe Latin America. I can't remember a time when I read a resume from someone from Italy or Germany. Even if the company where I worked at that time paid way more than Italian companies paid software developers. I had very few candidates from those countries. Maybe it's a matter of English language, maybe they just don't want to move to another country because they want to stay close to their family, they don't want to move to another culture, they don't want to deal with all the, you know, living as an expat is, is very different experience. But the fact is that in Europe we have all these small markets and very often People don't want to move between them. They don't want to move between countries. And that means that companies that are hiring in that country, even if they pay less, they still have access to all the developers in that country, even exceptional developers, because those exceptional developers will just accept the salaries in that country. Once again, this is a bit of a ramble. I don't know how big this reason is, but I see it happening and I think it might have something to do with the overall situation. Lastly, before I wrap up this video, I want to share some thoughts about living in Europe as a software developer. Because despite the fact that I compared the salaries and I said that the salaries for software developers in Europe are so much lower than in the US, I believe that Europe's actually a pretty decent place to live. The salaries here are lower than in the US, but they are higher than in many other parts of the world. And on top of that, it has really good standard of living. The quality of services here, the quality of infrastructure, the quality of life is actually very decent. And yes, there are places where you can go and you will save more money, even not US. You can go to cheaper places, live there, have way lower cost of living, have still decent salary, save more money. But still, it's not a bad deal to be here. So don't take this video as me just thrashing Europe for being a terrible place for software developers because it's not. It is actually better than way other places, but it has a different nature. It has very different characteristics than other parts of the world. That's all for today, folks. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember about the live stream 6th of September, 7 p.m. Central European summer time. I hope to see you there. And I hope that you will come to watch my next video. Take care.